Okay, we are now in the five bedroom. Okay, this is the private lift landing. It is uh, quite spacious when it comes into the apartment, quite a big space. If you look at it from this direction, and then the, room, the room opens up into the living and dining. Now the living and dining room is uh, combined with all the other spaces. On the left of the uh, on the left of the private lift entrance is the kitchen. The kitchen is well appointed with the window and head. All kitchen equipment is Electrolux and Smack. Now this is a higher end stuff which has a kind of like the glass top finish. Okay, right here. The fridge is with Electrolux comes comes with a uh, comes with the uh, uh, Apartment. This unit can actually come to the washer dryer unit, two separate units. This is the entrance door where it goes out to the common lift. Right here, they've kind of converted this space into a utility slash yard area. There actually is the bathroom here for small one for uh, for helper or for general use. So we're now back into the uh, living room area where the living and dining is combined. This is the dry kitchen. The dry kitchen actually comes with the, uh, this is wine cooler, okay, and a space where you can put your alcohol. There's also an integrated fridge for you to use. So you notice there'll be two ovens in the kitchen. Main kitchen has one, and then dry kitchen has one too. Right here is the powder room. The powder room is uh, where your guests can access, so you can entertain this area. Okay, so we will now go into the. Uh, bedrooms. Now the bedrooms are quite interesting. This is a five bedroom configuration. On the left is a uh, first of the common uh, toilets. Notice that the marble is slightly different from the two bed one where it's rather dark. This is a more lively feel. This is what you know known as bedroom one. Now bedroom one has been look designed to look like an office. So it's a 8.9 square meters. This, it, this is a bedroom that is uh, similar to the last office but you can see that now uh, with a with a queen size bed it still looks rather spacious right here is the master room now this room is pretty amazing in terms of space uh, efficiency it, even with a dresser next to the table there's lots of room around the bed okay there's a kind of like a walkway uh, towards the bathroom and uh, it comes with a, it's a semi like a walk-in wardrobe. Now the bathroom is something worth to talk about. The size of this bathroom includes a shower area, a bathtub, his and her sink, and a, a toilet at the end. This bathroom has a window so it's airy and make sure that there's no uh, easy for the bathroom to dry. Okay, natural ventilation. This bathroom, I think typically if you were to think about it, um, it's quite rare to have a bathroom this size. Um, usually bathrooms of this size will only appear in bedrooms, uh, sorry, apartments that's over 3,000 square feet. This is the junior master in the five bed uh, room. Uh, it comes with his own bathroom, okay. Junior master has his own attached bathroom and uh, a sizable area to put a queen size bed. Of course you can configure in any way you like. All this time uh, I didn't really highlight but the ceiling is a 2.9 meter ceiling so it gives the, the apartment a big sense of space. Now bedroom 5 is quite interesting because it's away from the other rooms and it's actually quite a sizable room. Okay, Typically it can be used as an office or a guest room because this room has its own bathroom too so it's pretty nice, well appointed so this is the room that's away from the other rooms so uses for this could be like granny room or room for firstborn or guest room okay so this is the five bedroom layout